Hey class, uh, welcome to the outline tutorial. Um, hopefully everybody's watching this and realizing that it's an outline and an act, not an actual essay. So uh, I just wanna make sure I go over a few things. Now in this assignment, what you wanna do is you actually want to um, find your research articles from your topic um, that you, you replied to in DQ1 this week make sure you are using a GCU library. So students will be like, well, I feel comfortable using Google. Well, don't, because the university pours thousands of dollars into a library to gain access to articles you won't find on Google searches. And you have to redefine your, your, your search to where it is scholarly sources. The only way you can know that you have that is through the GCU library. So no websites. Um, from time to time, I'll have students use websites. If I see a website, depending on how many websites used, you can get a complete zero on the assignment. So don't use websites, okay? Now I'm gonna go through this step by step. The first step in the process will be the thesis statement, okay? Let me go ahead and go through that on this tutorial. So I have highlighted the, the, uh, the thesis statement and the topic. I'm using a mock topic because you have three subtopics. So it could be paranoid schizophrenia. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, it could be schizophrenia, it could be borderline personality disorder, and it could be like something like an attachment disorder. So that would be your three uh, subtopics, for example. But what I'm going to use here is I'm going to use something about influences of violence. And so as you see a thesis statement, if you took, if you remember UNB 104, a thesis statement is showing what main points you're gonna have in your essay, and it's gonna be in order. So as you see here, I have one sentence here, and it's gonna be in third person. So throughout this assignment, there should be absolutely no first person writing or second person, third person. These topics are not about your experiences or your knowledge in first person or second person. It is about what research states, that's college. Otherwise, college could be so easy. Everybody could write feel good papers about their knowledge about different topics, but that's not the case. So in this example I give, I'll show you how the thesis statement is. As you see, I have one here about video games and violence, okay? There will be a discussion how violent movies and video games do not influence children into violence, negative thought processes, and bad grades. So if your if you're, if you're three subtopics were like, narcissism, personal, personality, uh, uh, or narcissism, uh, bipolar, and uh, schizophrenia, you're just, your thesis, an example of a thesis would be, you know, there will be a discussion about three common mental illnesses of, and then you would list them, narcissism, uh, comma, bipolar disorder, comma, and then whatever the third one is, okay? So that's how you would do your thesis. And then your thesis would follow. Notice how here I have the last three points here. And let me go ahead and highlight them in a different color. I have my three subtopics as the last part of the thesis statement. And then if you look at it, my point one is violence. My point three, two, sorry, is negative thought process. And my third point is bad grades. So it follows that, that trend. So when you do your essay later on, your first paragraph after your intro, um, and when you write your intro, your thesis statement will be the last sentence in the intro, but your first paragraph will be violence. Then your next, or sections, not paragraphs, sorry, sections will be negative thought process, and the third will be bad grades, okay? So you, you can subhead them however you want, but make sure you're writing something very thorough, okay? Now this outline is just to start, okay? It will grow, all right? In this assignment, you wanna make sure that you are um, brainstorming the three subtopics that you chose, okay? Now, let me go back here to this part. Now I'm gonna go over these points here, okay? This is a point that's very simple to understand, not, not very confusing at all but I'm gonna show you something here, okay? After you write your thesis, you're gonna do your first main point, okay? So mine was violence. So what are these two sections right here? There's only two right here. First piece of research that supports this main point, 
second piece of research that supports this main point. And where it says citation, that means you're going to do cite. You are required to cite. Now, referencing and citing is different. You place a reference down here in the bottom, and you you cite in the body of the of the, of the sign. Okay. Uh, no quoting. So do not quote, and you'll see that right now. Okay. I'll show you a good example of it. And to just show you, I'm going to go over these two right here. So let's see here. All right. So um, as you see in the first section here, I have, which would be fall under this part right here, and I'll highlight it. I'll put it in red, actually. This is the part I'm going to talk about first. Okay, so how do you fill in this part, first piece of research that supports the main topic? Because how this article supports the main point is something different. So how do I do this first part? So the first part's done by, you read your article. And for me, I use an article written by Ferguson in 2011. This is just an example. I found two important things I want to discuss. And so the first one I'm going to write here. It's in my own words. There's no quotes. And then I cite. Okay, citing simple. Citing is just the last names, comma, year. There's no initials, abbreviations, or anything like that. Okay, and then notice how I have a second one here too. It's in red. That's because in the assignment, it's going to ask again for a second piece of information from that supports a topic. And it's going to say cite, citation. Okay, so you see that, right? So you see right here, I have my two sources of information that I have right here. And I probably caught myself doing something. Should put a period right there. And so um, if you notice, this is something that I'm going to use from the article that actually relates to the subtopic violence. So let's say your subtopic is um, narcissism is your first one. Then you would pull, read that article. You would find two things that you want to discuss. Now, Here's the thing, there's a lot of things in the article that you could discuss, okay? But you wanna find something that Ferguson found in 2011, or if you found a research article in 2018, you wanna find something that, what they found in 2018, okay? And you're gonna use that as the source, all right? So um, you'll find many, many things in those articles, but it's impossible to write everything that you want to. But take note of more than two if you want, because you're gonna write a big essay. This is just getting you started, all right? So after you do this with these two, then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna see these points right here, all right? Let me highlight those real quick in, in yellow. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about these sections. Now, what are those sections? That's these right here. I'm gonna talk about what this is, okay? Because right below your cited source of information, your fact that you got from the article, what are these points of references here? What, what are you gonna do there? This right here is you writing a sentence or two, I would prefer a couple of sentences, two sentences at minimum, of you discussing uh, why this piece of information you cited relates to the topic. So if you take a moment and pause, you'll see and read, and, and read this, you can pause and read, that the information given that cited that I wanna use in the essay is, is being told here to me, the professor, this is why I'm using this information, okay? So you're not writing a paragraph based off of this cited source and information. You're telling me why it's important to be there. Why are you gonna put that in the essay? Same thing with this one. You have a cited source, and then you're gonna write here, why is it important, okay? So if you pause and read it, I even put that. This information provides inf information and suggests research data that children are influenced it is important because the entire scope of the essay is to show if there is a correlation. So I'm going to make sure I point out why I'm using that cited source. Again, you shouldn't put any references in here, only citations. The references will go down here at the bottom, if I can get to the bottom. And if you see, I have Ferguson down here as a reference. This is a reference. References and citations are required. If you just place references down here and no citations, that means you didn't use a source, okay? You have to cite in order for it to be valid. Okay, I hope this video helped out on how to do each section because then 
you'll go to your second article and you'll do the same thing here like that, okay? And I can always tell when a student watches these tutorials versus students that did not watch the tutorial. There's a huge difference between, there's, there's huge differences between the two and grading the assignments. So please watch the tutorials each week, okay? I hope this helped out. If there's something you think I missed, please reply and ask a question.